Hey guys, I'm me, Ronald Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. Tracking a fast moving cold front that's dropping down through Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado. In fact, we're waiting on it here. Here's the live view up at Loveland Ski Area on the Continental Divide. Thinking probably two, three, four inches up there at Loveland this afternoon tonight. And it should be done overnight with clearing skies into Saturday. Um, so let me just show you what the pattern is right now. Um, here, this is the water vapor. So the orange and reds are drier air aloft. The jet stream is kind of doing this number and then cruising way up into BC and then up and around and then bending down through Montana, Wyoming, and into Colorado. Um, and that's what's escorting this front down. So all the activity is kind of sliding down the eastern periphery on this storm track because this large high pressure is just anchored over California, Nevada, and Utah and not allowing anything to come through. I mean, look at this low. It's getting pushed back out. It can't even come in. So this is a formidable high. Um, I mean, so essentially what I'm saying is that all the moisture is being routed up and around rather than allowed to come through. And it's going to be a totally dry weekend up here in the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> Nothing until Monday up there. Uh, but this high pressure has really been the story. And I got to show you this. This is incredible. This is out of the uh, UC Berkeley Central Sierra Snow Lab. Um, and they're saying it has been 34 straight days without measurable snow in the Tahoe area. This is, again, I've been saying this. This is one of the driest periods I can remember forecasting, and, and they're confirming that here. I mean, they're looking at a 30-year record right now for just basically no snow in this area. All the gains that we had made over Tahoe we just been, have been declining. The snow water equivalent numbers have all been going down now and I really don't see anything in the immediate. Let me just show you what the GFS is thinking um, and this will be a good dovetail on this. So um, here it is and I'll just take look at the light blue coming down through Montana, Wyoming, Colorado through tonight and then by Saturday morning it fades. It's in northern New Mexico so if you're looking for new powder look into Colorado, northern New Mexico on Saturday and there is a clipper rolling through the northeast as well so that'll drop some very light snow up there. That is not going to be major. Um, by Saturday afternoon the whole west is under this giant high which I outlined earlier. Look at the Pacific Northwest totally dry. California still dry. Alright so here's Monday morning fast right there. So there's Monday morning. Pacific Northwest has a new storm. Now what will this storm do? It looks like it might drop down through Colorado or California. If this storm, and you can see it right there, Monday night, Tuesday morning, drops down through Tahoe, that would break the streak. So let's see, today's 34, Saturday's 35, and then day 36 would be Sunday, and this would break the streak on Monday into Tuesday. So that's possible for California. But as I'll show you in my totals, this is not going to be a big storm system for the Tahoe area. Uh, and I think it might be a one and done. All right, so here's Wednesday morning, the 16th. Look at the low in Colorado starting to spin up. Between the 16th and the 17th, it comes together as a low that slides down through Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana, and into Colorado and New Mexico. All right, so here's Thursday morning, the 17th. It's departing leftover snow in Colorado and then it dries up and by the 18th we're back to dry weather and high pressure in Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, Nevada, California and I think we're going to ride this high pressure out until probably and let me just roll this ahead here's the 21st we'll probably ride that high potentially into the early of the 21st or late on the 20th and then things will start to shift again so that's a look way down the road um, let me just show you my totals all of today through the 13th, so basically this fast cold front will drop light amounts of snow in Colorado through northern New Mexico. Those are the areas to look for powder. And then beyond this, definite pattern shift, but it's very short term. I wouldn't call it a total change because high pressure comes in behind this. Um, but m tiny amounts of snow in California, at least it's something. Um, new snow through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, as in Idaho as this whole new front drops south. But even those amounts in Utah are just so small. I'm not forecasting a blockbuster event at this point. Um, but I'll certainly watch that. A lot will depend on whether this low spins down and around the Wasatch rather than through. So that will, it will depend on the jet. Um, let me show you my numbers for the Northeast again, and this runs all the way through the 20th, and there's just there's just not a lot. There may be something big after the 20th, but this clipper is kind of it, one to three inches, um, and that's it through parts of Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. 
and I'll take you back to my other numbers just briefly to show you again across the West all of today through the 13th and then the numbers beyond that are a bit more impressive and more widespread because of that storm that comes in 15, 16, and 17. There you go. Have a great weekend. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Take care.